Well, Packers fans have been tailgating outside Lambeau Field all afternoon long. Our Katie Crowther caught up with many of them who were in enemy territory. Yeah, Shannon, you know, I was in Seattle last year when the Packers lost to the Seahawks in the NFC Championship, so I experienced the so-called 12th man firsthand. I'm still bitter about it. That's why the goal today among all Packers fans is to get Lambo as loud as possible. Go Pack, go! All ages and types of Packers fans are ready to be heard. We are going to be so loud. Seattle is going to be like, what the heck have we been doing wrong? Brenda came all the way from Seattle to be here for this game. She's one of many Northwest Packers backers who made the trip. I've always wanted to be in Lambeau, always, and I just figured this is my year. This and, is our year. But even here in Green Bay, she can't shake Seahawks fans. We found a mom from Racine who's going to have to out yell her own son all night. I can tell you are a nice, good woman. You <laughs> raised a Seahawks fan. It's okay. You know, he has the right to, to be. <laughs> and he even admitted there's no place like Lambeau. The other 12s I ran, at, ran into out here said the same thing. You know, some of them, it's almost a bucket list item to be able to, to see a game in Lambo. But you know who the number 112 is, right? <laughs> Do you want to say his name? Uh, <laughs> Rogers. See you guys, Seattle fans know what number 12 is really all about. It's Aaron Rodgers, who's gonna dominate tonight, I feel it. Also, you know, to go along, along with all these loud fans, uh, the Packers have new uh, messages on all the video boards, which will play at various key points in the game to try and get the stadium as loud as possible. We'll bring you all the highlights. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. All right, Katie, thanks. It's